Hello everyone, Abdul Muksit here with another interesting tutorial on Coroco Blockjet engine. Today we will insert CPT from Google Sheet directly into WordPress. I already created one video here in my channel REST API Google Sheet. But the difference between this video and the one I am sharing today is this will fetch directly from the Google Sheet and it will not store in your WordPress. But what if you want to store cpt directly from google sheet to your wordpress you can use it for cpt and you can use it for cct also so for example i write here testing from google and i will press enter once it is saved i got the post id 3103 and it shows the status with time if i go to my website and i refresh i can see testing from google which is publish and we have email and phone number as a meta field also if i want to update them for example mxt at yahoo.com and phone number is this one once it is saved you will see an orange label says it's updated and if i refresh the page here i can see the email and phone number so let's start building this solution with crocoblock and jet engine Alright, so our first step is to create post type. Go to Jet Engine and click on post type. I already have leads. This is the name of the CPT and this is the slug. Down we have two meta fields, email and phone number. Both of them are text field. Click on advanced and make sure you enable show in REST API here and in both meta fields also show in rest api if you go to wordpress documentation here you will find that by default we have certain routes and endpoints in order to access your cpt you have to write your website.com slash wp json wp v2 and your cpt name for us it's leads that's how we access it now most of the people in the group and in youtube they have requested how can we insert cpt in our website from postman postman is a application which is used for testing rest api so today i will cover that topic also if i click here in the postman first step i need to do is to insert my endpoint url in my case it's my website slash wpjson slash leads okay this is my endpoint url now within parameter i need to pass certain parameters first one is title then we have content this is body of the wordpress post third we have meta field email so for meta you need to add meta and then in brackets the meta field name email if i go to my post type here i can see email and phone these are the names which we need to insert here email and phone i added my email my phone number third we have city this is taxonomy or term if i go to my post leads here you will find cities now remember you need to pass cities or terms numerically you cannot pass by string so if i click on edit it shows me 561 for this taxonomy here i have 561 and then we have status which is draft if i press on send It will insert a CPT in my WordPress website and it returned the ID 3104. If I go to my website and click on leads, here I have title of the post from Postman. It's in draft. It has the email. It has the phone number. If I click on edit, it will have the taxonomy also. Now, one thing you need to remember, we pass parameters in postman but we need to pass authorization as well here you need to choose basic as auth and you add username and password from where you will get username and password go to your see here it is selected go to your users click on all user and click on edit 
this is my username Moksit. scroll down and you will find application passwords okay these are application password the one i created for example i am creating a new one click write test and click on add new application password it gives me the password now remember it's one time password if you don't copy right now it will disappear so you just copy go to postman remember we will use this username and password in google also this is my username and this is password okay that's how you can insert post from postman or rest api to your wordpress remember to choose post not get if you choose get it will return the post in your cpd now let's move toward google sheet i have eight columns one two three four five six seven eight this one is empty this is post id post title description email and this is the status you will click on extension and app script it will open google app script i will copy this code in git so you can copy paste and change the api url and username password only i have a function sheet wp inside i am selecting cpt as my default sheet here you can see cpt so if you have more sheets it will not disturb your google sheet data then i am checking for range i have six or seven column so post id is column number one column one two post title three content four email you can choose it as per your requirement then i have api url which is the same api url endpoint we used here okay if you are inserting data from any application whether it's php it's a request from a mobile application it's a request from postman or it's a request from google sheet you have to use this endpoint url this is my endpoint url then we are passing the data just like we did in postman title content city status meta fields and these are the parameters we are using method as a post we have authorization basic this is the username and we have password which is encoded and then we are passing the payload in json the post data from here now how update works here if post id is empty post id mean this area if it is empty google sheet or app script should perform insertion if it is filled it should find the 3103 id in google and then update it sorry not google in wordpress so we have this insertion process and if post id is filled then instead of targeting the api url we should target api url slash the post id so here i have added slash and the post id so it is targeting the specific id if i make a post here moxit enter it will give me the id here okay insert it with the green let's go to leads here i can see moxit there is no data right now if i click on edit it shows me 3105 is my id here 3105 now if i make any request it should not insert a new record it should simply update it so abc at yahoo.com okay this is updated and let's refresh abc at yahoo.com now the only thing which you need to remember is you need to click on triggers and click on if you don't have any trigger you have to add it i already have a trigger you can add it from here i will click on edit here you need to choose the name of your function in our case it's sheet wp and even type should be on edit so each time you press enter or you press space or you exit from a cell it will trigger this code and it will directly send to the api so for example here i type one two three and i press enter the code is executed okay and if we refresh we see one two three here 
Now it was a simple tutorial. You can use Chat GPT to ex extend the functionality. My concern is to give the logic a clue on how things works with the REST API. If you need to add city, you can add it from here, uh, but you need to pass numeric. If you want to add image, you can also pass image, but you need to use some base 64 coding, encoding, editor. You need to use some sort of base 64 encoding to send image from your uh, Google Sheet or app script towards the WordPress. If you have any question, please write in the comments. Thank you so much.